There was only 15% of chance that it will be raining in our area. And look at that. A nice and lovely September rain. But it didn't start like that just 45 minutes ago. We were here in the center of Benidorm town. We are on the square right next to the town hall of Benidorm town and right next to the Bristol Hotel. And we are here to show you what is happening in Benidorm right now, heading towards the second half of September. Maybe we'll see some new businesses today, how busy it is in the second half of September too. For all those of you who are considering to shift from peak summer months towards something slightly more quiet. Oh, look at that. In Bristol Hotel, they have executive breakfast, $3.95, a toast, a juice, and a coffee. That's actually quite a good offer. And you do not even need to be the guest inside of the hotel if you would want to enjoy some nice breakfast on their terrace. They've actually changed the appearance slightly. They've put these golden letters everywhere they've put like the logo of the bristol hotel brand new they've put the lights out here the main entrance is also nicely changed now it is way way different than what we used to see when this hotel just opened up after building from scratch a brand new part of this hotel plus the swimming pool and much much more by the way i'm quite sure a lot of you know already but just in case Whenever you are traveling to Benidorm town, remember that even if you are not staying in some special hotel, some specific hotel, but you would like to go there maybe for a spa or you would like to go there for uh, any kind of service, restaurant, bar, cafeteria, whatever it is, almost always it is open for the outside public. Benidorm hotels did understand after pandemics especially and slightly before that too that limiting themselves towards hotel guests only might not be the best decision. Since that moment more and more hotels started to open up to outside guests, open their restaurants to purchase a menu lunch or dinner, cafeterias to grab some drinks, even breakfast, snacks or short fast meals and open up their terraces for everyone to enjoy. Like this also the rooftop bars were born. Right now there are more than five of them, five or six of them that are located here in Benidorm town. There are gorgeous rooftop bars that offer unique views towards Benidorm, the skyline of Benidorm and skyscrapers, plus obviously the Mediterranean Sea and the mountains surrounding all of us. A lot of shops here nearby are still open. A lot of them do have discounts now since we are heading full speed into Spanish autumn. Calendar autumn is here for a few weeks already, but Spanish autumn is not here just yet. Not just yet. But the weather is shifting and we can notice that it's not summer any longer. If you will be here in the area, you will see that almost all the shops, they do have autumn slash winter collections already. They even sell coats already. You never know. This year has been strange. It's been like a typical weather here in Spain without any kind of heat waves, uh, more clouds than we are used to these past few years and definitely slightly more of rain. So maybe the weather came back to normal, which is why you'll see a mix. You'll see some nice discounts for still some summer clothes, summer shoes and accessories, plus new collections for winter slash autumn season, which you will be able to purchase in case it gets cold as today, for example. It did state that it might be raining today and tomorrow, but the probability was quite low. Something tells us that it will be raining eventually uh, in a few hours. Maybe we're wrong, but probably it is going to be the case because there are some chunky clouds here in the sky, quite, quite dark ones. We are right next to the Hotel Madeira Centro. They have a gorgeous 
lounge terrace on the floor at 20 and 21 there is a restaurant as well gorgeous place with incredible views open for the outside visitors once again which is a huge plus so it was one of the first rooftop terraces in Benidorm but it's been fully refurbished they have some fancy furniture inside some lovely lights at night quite pricey drinks but it is happening in all the rooftop terraces because you not only pay for the drinks but also you pay for the views that you are uh, getting definitely if you will be coming here to the area if you love rooftops some nice views great some favorite cocktail maybe in the evening enjoying the sunset you should try some of the highest rooftop terraces here in Benidorm. One of the best ones are the Madeira Central Hotel, the Port Benidorm Hotels one. Primavera Park too has a nice terrace and then slightly lower ones in a sense of floors and height can be the Alameda Hotels Terrace. It's not open the whole year, I think. Uh, and then a couple of others situated here by the Poniente Beach. So definitely a lot were to choose from we are right at the triangular square right now in benidorm this is where also the one and only starbucks is located popeyes we call it popeyes in spanish spanish do pronounce as you can see it they pronounce it uh, and a lot more lovely places here in the area uh, some local businesses uh, international businesses pharmacies tattoo shops typical souvenir places or uh, places such as authentic spanish small bars where a caña still costs one euro obviously some rentals for bicycles uh, electric scooters or different types of other mobility like motorbikes you can find it here as well not as expensive by the way uh, as you might think compare the prices before you take any of these rentals because only by comparing them you will be able to find the best option for you price and quality wise and check out the mobility product that will they will be giving you either it's a scooter either it's a bike a bicycle whatever it is check it out well before you take it to avoid unnecessary issues and problems afterwards especially for your own safety nice typical spanish places here like mallorca indian restaurants supermarkets with uh, curious phrases that not all of us like but for those who are coming for hen stock parties youngsters you know why not some people find them fun and purchase them as a reminder of their holidays here and even put them on while they are on holiday the tiki pizza nice place we did not try their pizzas just yet but if you did let us know if you've enjoyed them they have some good prices here it's targeted towards international tourism and towards tourists in general locals well we do not tend to eat here simply because we see the beach every day it's not something that we do on a daily basis we're used to it but for tourists having lunch uh, with some nice music, some nice atmosphere here by the seashore is something that is worth consideration. We are by the gorgeous Levante Beach, one of touristic, tourist most beloved beach lines here in the area of Benidorm and around it. There are still quite a lot of people here because the water temperature is nice. It's around 26.2, although if it will be raining as they say it will be, these clouds probably will bring some nice rain wouldn't it they so if it will be raining obviously the temperatures will drop of the water <gasps> i think that's rain already i think right there in front do you see it i think it is raining already there in the mediterranean sea and it is coming slowly but surely here although people are wearing summer clothing still it's not cold at all you can see slippers uh shorts summer dresses it is not cold at all but it probably will be if it will be raining because we're not technically in summer any longer maybe this year's weather is gonna get back to normal and we won't have any kind of strange weather just usual obvious autumn rain that all people here miss so much that we needed desperately to avoid fires in the area 
And if it is here, we're kind of happy it is. The bad thing is that for all those of you who are coming here on holidays, it might limit slightly the amount of options for your holidays and attractions and places where to go and what to see uh, during this time. For example, if you were planning to go to Aqualandia, usually days like these, if it is raining, it's fine. But if there is an alert for storms or electric storms and thunder, then they might cancel all the slides. This is one of the things. All the natural parks, the theme parks such as uh, Terra Natura or um, uh, such as Mundo Mar, by the way, all these are still available, obviously, even though it is raining. Here by the beach, we have a group of which we're fans already group of pensioners who gather together and usually they sing or at the Poniente beach or ride by these palm trees every single year it's exactly the same area where they do it some people did think especially international tourists did think that these are religious songs it is not so much religious one because it's not a religious group it's just a group of um, social center where they gather together uh, groups of pensioners who come here and sing traditional Spanish songs, not so much of a religious ones, but it's great to see that they are back. Uh, it's great to see people gather together and it gives a special touch towards our beach promenade. The aqua park is still here. We've mentioned in our previous videos that this floating magical aqua park is actually quite fun if you like these types of activities if you go with children quite fun i must say we can recommend it we tried it last year we even have a full video about it because we were swimming amongst jellyfish those did not sting they don't bite so uh, it was still very very fun and interesting and it is recommended if you love water sports and are coming with children or grandchildren. And it will be here up until the end of September, which is afterwards. The sea is quite chilly already for us here in Spain. It's considered quite cool water. So at this point, end of September is when the vast majority of swimming activities or where you could potentially end up inside of the sea will stop working with a few exceptions such as jet skis or the cable ski because we've seen it even in almost winter time we are heading back from the levant beach towards the mediterranean avenue to see what's going on here we have a is it a new place it's a kebabish grill and curry house turkish and indian restaurant oh my god Kebab, grill, curry, Turkish and Indian restaurant. There is such a big mix out here. Wow. Probably it's a new place. Would be interesting to see how it is. Lookissimo. This is a aesthetics plus um, hairdressing salon. You can see here a few vegan hair straightening from 99 euros. I wonder what that is. Oh my goodness. Block spot, what is it? Sneakers and streetwear. It looks like a hotel or like any kind of special business, like a club, but it's a shop actually. Also, a new one here in the area. All the rest are all the same. Here we have the Don Dino, which is a very popular shop here, at least in our region of Spain, in Valencian community. And it is where we typically buy some toys for children for as gifts for someone's children, grandchildren, etc. And they have some nice prices and usually they have some good offers as well. Another good shop would be Juguetilandia, like a land of toys, if you translate it directly, which is located in the shopping mall La Morina, where you can get a bus from here from Benidorm uh, directly to go there city tour sightseeing bus this one goes towards Finistrat, quite full on the top empty on the bottom as it usually is because the best views are from the top followed by some other buses out here which are typical local public transport these sightseeing buses by the way are two number 30 and number 31 one of them goes right here as you could have seen towards Finistrat, and the other one goes through albir towards altea lovely tiffany's we love this place and people seem to love it too breakfast with 
coffee toast and juice four euros exactly the same oh, yeah. as uh, in the executive breakfast at the bristol hotel but if you just want toast with the coffee for example it will be three euros only which is not bad as it sounds right these are one of the on the budget options here in benidorm and this place has some delicious food and breakfast because whenever we come here in the morning or midday or even evening time because they do have some more like meals proper meals and some more snacks apart from breakfast whenever we come here it is always always full barely a few tables on the terrace if at all and some spots inside where you're able to sit down and enjoy some nice drink or snack we can see already that there is slightly less people we see less people with children as well more adults unless these are preschool children still we see couples solo travelers quite a lot international tourists mostly and some national ones as well but overall it is still quite busy as you can see it is still very nice don't think it's gonna be the same in an hour or two from here let's see if we're wrong if we are not wrong we will show you at the beginning of the video what the weather will be like after we film but i'm quite sure it will be raining this is the madeira central hotel the floor 20 lounge bar and then the restaurant on the top a gorgeous place we filmed it by the way for you as well as a few other rooftop terraces we personally love these type of terraces because you enjoy the views in general of the whole entire benidorm town you can get some nice pictures for your memories of your holidays and even though it might be like one euro or two euros more expensive than downstairs <laughs> on ground floors in all other typical bars and pubs but it's the views that you get to enjoy everything that benidorm has to offer and get to see the area slightly better as if you would be flying above benidorm town many shops many businesses some of them with summer discounts new businesses as well taxi stops nearby beloved businesses that have been here for decades benidorm has it all and all of it is still available and will be available for you even if you are coming slightly outside of the peak summer season thank you for accompanying us today bye dees